And then he keeps saying thank you. Father, we say thank you. We we'll bless your holy name. We we'll magnify you. Thank you for our yesterday. Thank you because you were there. Thank you for our today. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for a bigger and the better tomorrow. Father, we thank you. Spirit of the living God, we say thank you. For by strength shall no man prevail. We have prevailed because of your presence. We have prevailed because of your help. We have prevailed because you were there for us, never leaving us. Even though there were times it was like, God, can you see me? <laughs> I like it so much when we pray after our program. Jordan has a beautiful atmosphere. And we retreat to pray. Each time we close, that's if we don't use the prayer room at Jordan 93.9 FM. We like the grounds. And out there, I'm just so happy. It's like, hey, God, now you can see me very, very, very well. <laughs> There's no obstacle of a house, a, this and that. <laughs> but of course, wherever, he said to Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, he said, even in the bed of the womb, <laughs> he knows he formed. That's why the psalmist could say, where can we hide from your presence? He's everywhere. In that secret place, he's there. In the same, the mountains, wherever, everywhere, he's there. And so, Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you, because you can always see us. Even though there are times we feel like, God, where are you? But we are glad to say that we know you are there. Loving us, caring for us. You love us so much. That you sent your only begotten son, Jesus, to die for us. Last week was the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, a glorious celebration. A week later, we are in a new year. It can only be you. And so, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments that day. You are God all by yourself. You are God, you are God, from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument that he is God all by himself. I love that song so much because whether you acknowledge him as God or not, you remain at God. You question him, you don't question him, you remain at God. You worship, you don't worship, you remain at God. He does not need you to validate him. He does not need him like some of you look for the praise of men before you know you are somebody. Our God is not like that. He has ordained for himself praise. The angels in heaven, too numerous to count, we worship him two for seven. And so we join the hosts of heaven to give him praise. We join the hosts of heaven to magnify him. We join the hosts of heaven to say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you over and over and over again. <laughs> I love a Yoruba song. Yoruba is a language in Nigeria. It says, On no pemipo, oh my shame, what Jesu, on no pemipo, le show, la you do pe. It says, The ways I want to thank God is too much. To my left, to my right, in my front, too many things to tell him thank you for. And so, Daddy, we are back to say thank you. Thank you for your blessed new year. We are in the 1st of January, 2023. It can only be you. It can only be you. It can only be you. We have been preserved by your mercy. We have been preserved by your mercy. We have been preserved by your grace. And we are back to say, Daddy, thank you. We are back to say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, over and over and over again. <laughs> My mom, the Konezara Shannon, we say, if all the hairs of her head we are mouth, they are not enough. And then when we are plating the hair, I'll, be try, I'll try to count the hair, the white hair, but of course, you can't count it. Or she say, if all the bodies of, if all my bodies were to be mouth, they are inadequate. Can you imagine your mouth everywhere, body, 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 still not enough? And so, Daddy, we are here to say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you we'll bless you. you we'll Jesus. magnify you. you. The storms have been raging. It has been turbulence since 
2019 or some years before that it has never been the same again COVID-19 so much fear so much distress so much pain so much trials but in all we have overcome and we continue to overcome we are more than conquerors so yes overcome us in this world we have been made victorious through the blood of jesus christ we are triumphant when men say there is a casting down we always say there is a lifting when we could not even know him we found solace in the fact that he was there and he continues to be there like the song says my hope is built on nothing else stands out to says when darkness seems to hide his face i rest on his unchanging grace in every high and stormy gale my anchor holds within the veil on Christ the solid rock we stand, all other ground is sinking sand, oh yes, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. But in Christ Jesus we found our feet. In Christ Jesus we found hope. In Christ Jesus we had strength to continue and continue to find strength, to move on, to press on. And so we are back to say yes. We are pressing on the upward way. You heights we are gaining every day. Still praying as we are upward bound. Our prayer I is higher ground. Lord, lift us up, we are lifted, and let us stand, we are standing by grace on hell, heaven stable land, a higher plane than we have found, Lord, plant our faith on her, yeah, ground. It's a new year, and our feet is indeed planted on higher ground. Are you other you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? We give you an invitation. To say that there is so much turbulence. The journey is not going to be easy, still not changing. But because of Christ in our boat, because of Christ in our situation, we smile and we are able to move on. We overcome and we trample over every trials and circumstances that comes our way. We receive strength to continue. If you don't know him, yes, you continue, but it will be more difficult, more strenuous. And so we say, accept him who knows the way. Accept him who is your guide. Accept him who can be your better shepherd. Accept him who is your creator. Accept him who made you. Accept him whose plans and purposes for you only are thoughts of good and not of evil. Are you out there and you don't know him and you want to? You want to join the bad one God that says there is a lifting, there is a casting. You may repeat after me say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive me my sin. Me Have my mercy sin. on me. Once you say that, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. You dominate your world. You excel. You move on. You triumph in spite of all circumstances. And nobody will understand. They will wonder, ah, what is happening? Why is she like that? Why is she like that? Look at, look at. I miss so much. But see, 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 see. She's overcoming. Triumphing. Winning. No matter what we do. No matter what is on ground. That is your portion. As it is my portion continuously. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bring you a message of goodwill this morning. The very, very best compliment of the season to you. From Band of Love Ministries International and from your number one radio station, Jordan 93.9 FM. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Achake, General Vassia Band of Love Ministries International. A very, very pleasant warm day to you. The message this afternoon by the special grace of God is better days ahead. <laughs> better, glorious days ahead. Of course, I don't need to give you what the past year and years have been like. A little of it, you will know that it has not been palatable. Fear, insecurity, kidnapping, banditry, so many bad things. 
But we are here to say that there are better, 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 happier days ahead. This is God's word for you. In addition to whatever it is that your church has given, some we say it's a new beginning, a year of triumph, a year of uh, turnaround, a year of divine visitation, a year of your blessing, a year of your breakthrough, so much out there. Whatever it is, we join to say better, glorious days ahead. I give you a reading assignment with the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews is a book that has a lot of better, better, better things. Better covenants, better promises, better hope, better read it. And I give you an assignment. You know, this is a school, a Bible school. Take your book and Bible and paper where you read the book of Hebrew, anywhere you see better, write it down there. Better, better. I've come to say to you that better days, your joy will be better. The children will be better. The husband will be better. The wife will be better. The job Amen. will be better. Amen. The food on your table will be better. Amen. Better. Amen. <laughs> better. Amen. Before you the money is now, you're going to begin to say, oh, you should for this soup. Amen. Because things are getting better Amen. and better and better. Check the word dictionary for better. You see that it means an improvement on whatever is it that you are at now. The best is yet to come because better days are coming. You will exceed that which you did before. You will mm -hmm. excel. You will outdo. You will outmatch. You will go better places. You will improve. You will beat and surpass the expectations of the enemy. Mm -hmm. We have said often and often that when men say there is a casting, that you shall say there is a lifting. You'll be victorious. Mm -hmm. You'll find things around beneficial. Mm -hmm. You are healed. You are cured. You are recovered. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. are those things that availed that troubled you before? Mm -hmm. They are gone. They are past. Mm -hmm. Move on. Move on. Don't be frightened. Mm -hmm. My Jesus is on the throne. It is well. Oh, yes. Move on. Move on. Better days are here. Oh, yes. Better days. Better days are here. Better days are here. Move on. Move on, don't be tired. Oh, yes, don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't give up, don't give in. Move on, move on. Better days are here. Oh, yes, better days are here. Jesus is in control. Because Jesus is in control, it can only get better and better and better. You will be satisfied. You will find things more desirable. You will be the head and not the tail. These are God's promises for you. Job was a man in the Bible. If you read Job chapter 1, that had a lot of issues. In one day, he lost seven children. In one day, he lost all his cattle. He lost everything that he had. The Bible says in Job 1.3 that his substance was 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, five she axes, a very great asshole. The Bible described him as the greatest of all the men in the East. But he lost all in one day. But I've come to tell you that whatever you may have lost, whatever may be your story, of course you are not like Job, but some again have lost all. But whatever it is, wherever you are at, I've come to say to you that better days are here. Amen. Today is the tomorrow you have been waiting for, the whole better days. Let's see the end of Job, which is also your end and my end, as we have said that better days are here. here. In Job chapter 42, we are told that God restored to Job. When we say better days, it means that there is a restoration. It means that there is a new beginning. It means that God has opened the book of remembrance for you, for me. And for our beloved nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world. So we are here to say, don't give in. Some of you entered the year murmuring and complaining. Our last um, series has been on murmuring and complaining. And we said, while we are in a season of jubilation and happiness, some were murmuring and complaining. To murmur is to utter, to say some words under our breath. Our caller, Mr. Shola, said it can be positive or negative, but most is negative. And in that negative 
aspect, we take some negative actions like Rachel did when she was asking for a child. This morning, we have come to say to you that, like we said in the last series, don't give up, don't give in, don't go the negative way. Why? Because God is turning around your captivity and my captivity. By the token of the fact that we have entered the new year, yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone. Psalm 35, weeping may endure for the night, but joy has come. Your joy and your laughter has come. Job 42.10, we are told here that, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed. When he prayed, you must not give up. You must not give up. Some people say, I've been praying and praying and praying. You must not be tired. If Jesus can pray, if he went to the mountain to fast and pray, if his disciples can pray, if he taught his disciples in Luke 11, one to say men ought to pray and not to faint, then you do not have a reason to give up. You get tired when you pray, give me, give me, give me, give me. If you pray, give me, and you are so sure that he has heard you. Matthew 7, 7 says, ask and you receive. Knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will find. And if you doubt that, Matthew 7 continues. 7, um, and 8, 9, it says, you who is a man, if your son said to you, I want bread, will you give him stone? If he says he wants meat, will you give him snake? He says, if you who is evil know how to good give, give good gifts to your children, how much more of him, your heavenly father? And so we are here to say that. What is that promise? What is that thing he promised you? It is possible. Jeremiah 29, 11, God's thoughts for you and for me are thoughts of good and not of evil. To bring us to an expected end. Job 42.10. Job prayed. And when he prayed. The Bible says that. The Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Twice as much as he had before. And so we are here to say to you that. God is set to do for you. Ephesians 3.20. Exceedingly abundantly above your expectations. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are here to say that things can never be the same again. But they will get better and better and better in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will decrease the sweat and increase the sweat in your life and my life in the mighty name of Jesus. He will give you better life, better life, better life, better life. You will enjoy his goodness. You will enjoy his blessings. We shall enjoy his protection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All year round, it is victory, victory, victory. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, nothing can be compared at the end of this year, 2023. And all the days of your life, you look back and said, oh, it got better and better and better. <laughs> that is how it is for me. Things get better and better and better. The food I used to eat before is not what I'm eating now, no? The sleep I used to sleep now is not how I used to sleep before, no? The clothes I used to wear before, it's not what I used to wear now. No, it is getting better and better and sweeter and better. That is how it shall be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. With Jesus in your boat, with Jesus in, as the captain, he will shepherd you to give you the best. I make my boast in our Savior and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you remove Jesus from my mouth, I'm nothing. If you remove Jesus from my, not, my mouth, I can't make it. That is why we started by saying that the key is Jesus. Urobo is a language in Nigeria. And I love a song that says, Yedesi weno, obuko hora erore o. Yedesi weno, obuko hora erore o. Yedesi weno, okia uko la erore o. Yedesi weno, okia uko la erore o. E, alfa, e, omega o. Yedesi weno, okia uko la erore it says, remove Jesus, I have no helper. Remove Jesus, I have no strength. Remove Jesus, I am nothing. Remove Jesus, I can't make it. By grace we stand. By his grace we move on. By his grace we continue to excel. And we are saying to you that by the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, if you have accepted him and made him Lord and Savior, it can only get better and better and better. Like the book of hebrews talks of a better testament that is how it will be for you your story as a writer it will be better 
it will be better. It will be better. That which is had it that been a reproach will be turned around to that of positivity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Better provisions, better things in the name of Jesus. And of course, more, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his saving fullness. More of his love who died for me. And if you know him, it should be more. More of his word. More fellowship with him. More communion with him. More service for him. And as you do that, your life spiritually will be blessed. Physically will be blessed. Financially will be blessed. Health-wise will be blessed. There shall be a transformation concerning our children children concerning ourselves concerning our husbands in the mighty name of jesus christ we shall have all round blessings powered by the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ and we'll be more fruitful more fruitful in all of our endeavors evangelistic evangelistically spiritually materially financially in the mighty name of jesus the anchor scripture is ezekiel 36 9 to 11 Ezekiel 36, 9 to 11 says, For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. Amen. Are we making empty promises? No. By the grace of God. Because God says he is for you. As you seek him and you turn to him, he said he will be for you. He will till your ground. He will till your life. He will make it more fruitful. He will make it better. As Isaac sowed in the land and reaped a hundredfold in Genesis 26, we are bringing a message on that. That is how your life will be beautified in a barren land where men are crying, where men are weeping. Your case will be different. You'll be multiplied. All your house will be multiplied. That is what God is promising us in Ezekiel 36, 9 to 11. If you want to cram that, please cram it. I'll go and cram it myself. Ezekiel 36, 9 to 11. He said, behold, I am for you. <laughs> I am for you. Not be the one where some people say they're there for some, they're not there for some, will not be that one. No. This one, God Himself, I was saying, day for you. And when God gives His word, you can be very, very, very sure that that word is sure. Is sure. He said, Your city will not be desolate, it will be inhabited, it will be inhabited in the name of Jesus. The wasteland will be built up. Every area of your life that I had that to, he that to my own life that have been a waste will be built up in the name of Jesus Christ. Multiplication of every side, increase on every side, settlement on every side, better and better and better in the name of Jesus. This is God's promises for you and for me. Because Jeremiah 29, 11, God speaking, say, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. Once again, a very, very happy new year to you from the Banovlo Mysteries International and from your number one radio station, Jordan 93.9 FM. My voice, your voice, the God, voice of the people and the very, very special voice of God. 070-50-863939 is the studio line to call. We want to hear from you, your comments, your contribution, your well wishes, your testimonies. Questions, if any, on this topic or on any topic troubling you, the Holy Spirit is in the house to answer you. 070-50-863939 is the studio line to call. Another studio line to call is 90 one seven zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven the marketing line for Jordan ninety three point nine FM your number one radio station is zero nine zero two four twenty forty four fifteen zero nine zero two four two zero four four one five we wait to hear from you thank you very much for tuning in thank you very much for making our radio station worth listening to thank you very very much 
And so we continue to say that life can only get better and better and better mm -hmm. and sweeter. Mm -hmm. We say this because some of you are crying. <laughs> There's a song that was ringing in my heart as I was coming and I had to check it out. It says, The winds and the waves shall obey my will. Why are we saying that it will get better and better? Because you see, some are crying. Some are saying like Sansa 1, he said, Master, the tempest is raging. Hymn number 61. Pastor Magdalene, you should have your hymn book. Hymn number 61. Master, the tempest is raging. The billows are rude at us in high. The sky is overshadowed with blackness. No shelter or help is near. There is thou that not we perish. How can thou lie asleep when each moment so madly is threatening? A grave in the angry deep. Some of you are saying, no food, no this, no that. So much trouble. Ah, uh -uh, God, do you not care? <laughs> but God is saying, better days ahead. Hello? Good afternoon. Daddy, good afternoon. Good Happy good New Year. <laughs> yes, sir. from Kuali and all that are listening to us, our extended family to Nigeria and all, a very, very happy new year. Daddy Kuali has called to wish us all a happy new year and to remind us of our responsibilities to our government, that better days are coming as we pray and as we join government to be good citizens, play our part. God will fulfill that which consigns us. I'd just like to sing a stanza of this song, then Pastor Magdalene will come in. We have said better days ahead. Why? Because the song says, The winds and the waves shall obey God's will. Oh, yes, peace be still on every storm. Peace be still. The winds and the waves shall obey His will. Peace, peace be still. Whether the wrath of the storm toss sea or demons or men, or whatever it may be, no waters can swallow the sheep where lies the master of ocean and earth and sky. They all shall sweetly obey God's will. Peace be still, oh yes, peace be still. They all shall sweetly obey God's will. Peace, peace be still. Pastor Magdalena said that a very, very happy New Year to you and your family. Welcome. A joyful moment to you, Mommy. <laughs> Welcome. And all our fans over there. <laughs> and a prosperous New Year. It's my prayer that the joy that God has given to us for today, it will last till Christ comes. Amen. It will not just be 
uh, uh, just for today because no. everybody is happy. No. no. The one that God, the joy that God has given to you, it will last till Christ come. It will, your joy will never be taken away. Amen. And we, by the reason of this joy, you'll be able, you'll be able to, to stand, to overcome whatever situation, whatever circumstances that might come your way. Because the joy of the Lord God Almighty is your strength. Amen. The joy that God has given to you, it is not the joy that the resources, the material things has given to you. And that is why no circumstances, no demon, no trouble will tamper with the joy of the Lord in your life. Amen. It is my prayer that God of heaven, who has brought us that far, will not abandon us in the mighty name. Of Jesus Amen. Christ. According to our team, this uh, afternoon, we say better days ahead. Yes. Hear what the Bible says in the book of uh, Joy, in the book of Joy chapter 2, Joy chapter 2 verse 19 says, Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and you shall be satisfied therewith. Mm. And I will no more make you a reproach among the hidden. Mm. Probably most of us have been a reproach in the past years. God is saying, I will no more make you a reproach among the hidden. Amen. In verse 21, he said, Fear not. Some of us that are very, very scared because of what we because of the, the of what we have passed through in the past. God is saying, This is the first day of the new month, the new year. God is saying, fear not. Don't remember the former things. Don't remember the suffering. Don't remember the pain, the bitterness, the sorrow, the fear that you've passed through before. God is saying, fear not. Oh land, be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. God is not a man that is to lie. So you hold on to the word of God. If you have been praying before, continue to pray. Don't give up. Don't say, ah, <laughs> I'm tired of it. Of, a, of prayer. No, don't tire. Don't be tired. God is saying, fear not, O land, be glad. Rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the feed. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree bearer her fruit. The fig, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad. God is repeating his word. He said we should be glad. We should rejoice. He said be glad then. You children of eh, Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, the latter rain. In the first month, this is the first month of the year, and the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore to you the years that the locust has eh, eaten. The Kakan wall, the caterpillar, and the palmer wall, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat, you shall eat in plenty, you shall be satisfied. And then you will praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. God is saying, My people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of her, in the midst of you, in the midst of Nigeria. God is with us. Amen. And that I am the Lord your God, the God of Nigeria. Thank you, Jesus. And no, and no else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Thank Nigeria you, will no longer be ashamed. Thank Nigeria you, will no longer be scattered. Thank Nigeria you, will no longer be battered. Thank Nigeria you, will no longer go under. Thank you, Nigeria Jesus. will no longer be cast down. Thank because you, our God Himself has made it has made Nigeria his own uh, personal property. Thank He's you, not Jesus. going to let Nigeria suffer shame anymore Thank because you, affliction, it is written that affliction will not repeat itself the second time. Thank the, you, Jesus. The, the pain we have passed through, the, 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 the sicknesses, the diseases, the, 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 the drynesses in the land. God is saying to us today that we will no longer pass through Amen. all this evil and journey. Amen. God is turning our table around. Amen. There is a turning point from now here because there is a better days ahead Amen. of us. Let's hold on.
to the word of God because every mm -hmm. other move, every other things can fail. The word of God can never no, fail. No, Hold on to the word of no, God. Fear not. God no. is saying we should not fear. Yes, we should Lord. rejoice. We should be glad in the Lord because God He said has said to do a great thing. He has said to do a great thing in our lives as an individual, as a family, and as a nation. God is said to do a great thing. Yes. Let's hold on to the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God can never pass yes, away. Yes, Encourage Lord. yourself yes, with the word yes, of God that cannot fail. Yes, because God is not a man. Yes, Don't Lord. write off yourself. Don't write no. off yourself. Because no. God no. has no. not finished no. with you. Yes. God has not written you off. God yes. has not closed your chapter. Yes. Even if the devil has closed it. Yeah, it is normal for the devil because he does not like anything good in, uh, in our lives as, as, uh, as the children of God. God himself has not written you off. It is only God who has the final say. And that is why According to our altar call, in case you have not given your life to Christ, Jesus Christ is the way, Jesus Christ is the truth, and Jesus Christ is the life. All these promises, you cannot, you will not be able to enjoy them, you will not be able to assess them without giving your life to Jesus Christ, without connecting to the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus Christ is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. Get connected to him today and your life will never be the same again. God has promised you that the years that the Kakawa has eaten, the Pamawa, the yes, Caterpillar, yes, the year that they have eaten, God yes, is saying he's going to restore them. Amen. Hold on to the word of God. Amen. It's my prayer to be well with us, Amen. to be well with our nation Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Enjoy your new year and your life will never be the same again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Magdalene Osadaye, for that encouraging words, asking us to hold on, asking us to be patient, asking us to believe the word of God. We celebrate you. We appreciate you. We shall speak for us in volumes in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'd like to address specifically those of you who have been praying, who have been believing God for one answer or the other. And it's like, God, where are you? The songwriter captured it in Sacred Songs and Solos, stanza 2, when he said, Master, with anguish of spirit, I bow in my grave today. The depths of my sad heart are troubled. Waking and safe, I pray. Torrents of sin and anguish sweep over my sinking soul and i perish i perish oh dear master oh hasten and take control this person here is in pain he said master hasten 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 my circumstances is not changing i am perishing it is not getting better but we are here to say it is getting better why? Because the master himself, he said that no matter the winds that is blowing you. Hello? Hello? Please call back again. We'd like to hear from you. God is saying no matter the wind, no matter the evil wind blowing, no matter the circumstances, no matter the waves, he is the master of the universe, the owner of all, the creator of all. They will obey him. The winds and the waves shall obey his will. Peace be still. Peace be still. The winds and the waves shall obey his will. Peace, peace be still. Whether the red of the storm tosses or demons or men or wherever it may be, no waters can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean, earth, and sky. They all shall swiftly obey his will. Peace be still. Peace be still, they all shall sweetly obey his will. Peace, peace, be still. Hello, good Hello. afternoon. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Compliments of the season to you. 
Hello, we can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Please call back. We can hear you. We would like to hear from you. The studio line to call is 70 We can hear you. 070-50-86-39-39. Another studio line to call is 90 Better days ahead. Better days ahead. Better days are here. We are here to say, since three of that song says, Master, that terror is over. Thy ailments wait, lay rest. Cannot last forever. A sword in the calm lake is mirrored, and heavens is within my breast. Linger, O oh blessed Redeemer, leave me alone no more. And with joy I shall make the blessed harbor and rest on the blissful shore. They winds and the waves shall obey His will. Peace be still, peace be still. The winds and the waves shall obey God's will. Peace, peace be still. Peace. We speak God's peace to that life. We speak God's peace to that destiny. We speak peace to that trouble spot. We speak God's peace to that health condition. We speak God's peace to our nation, Nigeria. We speak God's peace to every circumstances, no matter the situation you are going through. The Psalms that three says, the terror is over. And the elements are swiftly resting. We put to rest banditry. We put to rest kidnapping. We put to rest in kidnapping. We put to rest corruption. We put to rest all those that beat their chest to say over their dead body. Is there anyone out there beating their chest against us? Is there anyone out there saying they want to see how we'll make it? We pray for their repentance concerning our nation, concerning ourselves as individuals and as a person. We pray for their repentance. But where they say no and they continue to beat that chest, we cut off those hands. We destroy those monitoring eyes. We say no to them. God's will alone will prevail over our lives. God's will alone will prevail over our circumstances. God's will alone will prevail over our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because God has said he is aligning himself with us, we speak better days. We beat our chest and we say better days, more desirable days, more satisfactory days, higher ground for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ, healthier days for us in the name of Jesus. We are recovered. We are recovered. We fulfill our various destinies. We surpass the expectations of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. We excel. We exceed. We outdo every works of wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. We Beat, beat, beat our chest to say we are on top of our situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Because the winds and the waves shall obey his will. Peace be still. Oh, peace be still. The winds and the waves have obeyed his will. Peace, peace be still. We speak God's peace continually in that area, God's peace. That place where you go and you cry in the night, you wake up, you make heavy makeup. Nobody has known that you have cried. Or as a man, you begin to do mancho, mancho. But meanwhile, you are dying. Ah, we speak God's peace to those situations. We speak God's peace to those situations. We say no more. Our master is on ground. Our master has entered in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. We we'll bless you. We appreciate you. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know who I am on the Lord's side. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know who I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. I am an overcomer. Oh, yes. I will never give up. Oh, yes. For the Lord God is on my side. 
The key is to make your ways pleasing to the Lord God Almighty. Mm. The key is to make your life a sweet smelling savour. Mm. Job had life. everything turned around for him we because if you look at the Job 42, mm. in Job 42, hello, 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 we can hear you, hello. 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 <laughs> in Job 42, in Job chapter 1, verse 7, you see there that Job's calamity came because God was making Yanga with Job. God was celebrating Job. God said to Satan, He said, Have you seen my servant Job? Verse 1, Job 1, 1 says, There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright. Give your life to Jesus. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. Make the Bible your standard for living. Whatever the Lord says there, what he approves, you approve. What he says no to, you say no to. Even if the whole world is saying yes to it, you say no to it. Stand by the word of God. Make it your standard for living. And then I give you a verse of scripture that transformed my life. Proverbs 16, 7 says, when a man's way, Proverbs 16, 7, Proverbs 16, 7, when a man's way pleases the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. And so we are saying here that for your storms to stop, for God to be in your boat, for God to be master of all in your life, master of all situation, for God to answer the enemy, for God to be your shepherd, and Psalm 23 to be your portion. You need to accept Christ Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And having accepted him, you need to stay focused. You need to stay with him. You need to stay unbending, unyielding, making God's word your standard for living. This is church on air. We do not make a church on air. Online television does not make a church. It serves your need, yes. But you have need of a Bible-believing church. And you add that you don't have a Bible believing church, please prayerfully seek and pray. There is a pastor out there that is your pastor. Not every pastor is your pastor. If you pray, God will lead you. And not every church is for you. When you pray, God will direct you. We generally advise that you don't go too far, except God is advising you to go far away from home. Otherwise, it is good to have your family near you, your spiritual family, so that they'll be there to help you, to encourage you, to strengthen you, to stand by you. We say Bible believing because there's so much deception out there. Pray fully, pray and find a church to attend. Are you out there and you do not know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? We'll keep repeating it and re repeating and repeating because that is the key. That is the key. If you accept Christ Jesus, He comes to be in your heart. He directs you, He leads you, He helps you. You make it not by strength, not by might, but by the special grace of God. And so to accept him, you repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive me my sins, me my have sins. mercy on me. Mercy. Having said that, your sins are forgiven. Congratulations. The very best compliments of the season to you and your family. Happy, brighter days ahead. Amen. Our topic today is brighter, brighter, better, happy days ahead. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his containers of favor and of mercy never leave you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the Jordan family. And Father, we say, let it be well with them as it is well with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your listeners all over, using the good people and good citizens of Nigeria to pray for all your people all over the world. Nigeria, for all the nations of the world, we declare it is well. Amen. We declare it is well. Amen. We declare it is well. Amen. Because the master, Jesus, is in the boat. Amen. The storms rage no more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. The masters that hitherto have been in charge, they terrorize no more. Because the supreme master is in charge. The terror is over. The elements, all the elemental forces troubling us rest. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very, very much for streamlining with us. Thank you very much for being there for us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya, Band of Love Ministries International. Type the name E D I T H A T A K E. Our YouTube channel will come out. Church on the Air, Banner of Love Mysteries International. Subscribe 
like, share. And I assure you that your life can never, never be the same again. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, when you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth, all edifying. Don't forget to remain on the dial. Jordan 93.9 FM, your number one radio station. The very best compliments of the season to you. Thank you. Oh